Oh, hey, it is your favorite half Persian comedian, Kayvon. When I'm not on tour, I'm watching the news, so you don't have to. And here we have Alec Baldwin, who has also had a history of mental illness. So it was just a matter of time before he got somebody extremely hurt, if not killed. Well, he did that recently on a movie set. He didn't have to pull a gun and pull a trigger, but he did. Whether the gun was loaded or not, accidental or not, there's no reason ever to point it at a camera person and pull the trigger, shooting not just the camera person, but the director as well. Now, instead of being nice about it or humble or just going away for a little while, Alec, he had to use Use this as a chance to do an impromptu press conference where he was totally rude and sexist to his wife and she's a mental patient because she keeps trying to get in the footage too because she wants to be on camera take a look at this clown show let's go, let's go. I will <laughs> what do you want to know all right Ali what's the current state of what's going on with these cases I'm not allowed to make any comments because it's an ongoing investigation I've been ordered by the sheriff's department in Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. It's an active investigation in terms of a woman dying. We were a very, very, excuse me, we were a very, very, you know, well-oiled crew shooting a film together and then this horrible event happened. Now, I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I can't. I can't. I can't. That's right, it. And you met what are the... Sorry. What are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the, uh, the, the, the um, I'm afraid I forget her name at the moment, but you met with her family? Uh, in the Helena. Yes, her I name met is with Helena. If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you, you should know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. Helena Hutchins. I met with her husband, Matthew, and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that meeting go? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize. They're, 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 they're you, mortified. You guys, you guys, you know what? You, no we, details. We, we do, do me a favor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. Well, I appreciate that he was probably very upset. The, 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 the guy is overwhelmed with grief. We are, you know, in constant contact with him because we're very worried about his family and his, his kid. What else do you have? Would you ever work on another film set that involves uh, firearms of that nature? I couldn't answer that question. I, I, I really don't have any. I have no sense of it at all. I do know that an ongoing effort to limit the use of firearms in on film sets is something I'm extremely interested in. Yeah. So let's take a look into Alec Baldwin's racist past to see what kind of negativity people like this bring into your life. And then we can discuss. I bet you didn't know this. Alec Baldwin's wife pretended to be from Spain for 20 years. Everyone knew she was from Boston. Her family knew, but she did this thing with an accent and oh, how do you say? Couldn't remember English words and she's from España and she just got all of this from watching old J-Lo and Serena music videos. Check it out. We have very few ingredients. We have tomatoes. We have, um, how do you say anything? Cucumber. Cucumbers. We have um, red pepper. We have Hilaria, or Hilaria, Hillary, whatever we're calling her, Baldwin, breaking her silence on accusations that she faked her Spanish heritage for years. I want her to speak in Spanish. Is for Spanish? Spanish too. Let's, let's do it for us together. We're just going to do what we do. Okay? No, no, do it in Spanish. <laughs> do me a favor. We're going to do what we do together. Do you know what I mean? My wife will, will literally say lately, in, in order to, to express the kind of sentiment of having a fifth child, she'll literally say to me, she'll go, Alec, I feel that someone is missing. 35 or 40 of my family members come from Spain, which equals really good party. <laughs> really good party. We have Yesterday, and we're trying to all pronounce your name. It's not Hilaria. It's not it's Ilaria. Not, it's not even Hilaria. There is no H. There's no H. So, so pretend there's no H. It's okay. Ilaria. It's like hola. Yeah. In Spanish, you say hola. It's H-O-L-A. Nobody says hola, unless you have a really bad accent. <laughs> Alex? Alex? <laughs> Alex. Why didn't anybody in her family, as they would have done in my family, told her years ago, what's with the accent? What the hell are you doing? In, in October, I think we're going to go to España to see my family. Oh, he's you're going to bring him to Spain. <laughs> he's never... Well, we brought Spain to him for the wedding, but now he's got to go to Spain. Oh, he's, he's going to kiss me on the cheek and tell me you love me that I'm taking you back to Spain. Uh -huh. Ay, ay, ay. There was no pleasing you. Always been a Zara fan. It's, you know, it is a Spanish brand. And um, so I've known about it since for very, very, very long time before I was in this country. I have four kids, but you have to be able to treat each one as if they were only child sometimes. So I have to have my individual time with each You know, it feels different. It really feels different. But I didn't think it was going to be different, but it feels quite different. What's so. the thing that surprised you the most? 
Dean reported Ilaria, who was born in Spain, has made certain to raise her children with her native language, Spanish. But newly unearthed photos show Ilaria as a high school student at the swanky Cambridge School in Weston, Massachusetts. And this tweeted yearbook page identifies Ilaria by her birth name, Hillary Hayward Thomas, at a high school performance. I knew her as Hillary Hayward Thomas, and she didn't have a Spanish accent, goes another tweet. It's all bull, screams the New York Post front page with a cheeky illustration of Ilaria as a Spanish matador. Okay, I can't wait to see you. That's going to be great. Fantastic. What time? 12 o'clock? My wife is from Spain. Mm -hmm. And she said, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And blah, blah, blah. I don't mean to be racist when I put that accent on there, by the way. <laughs> I, when I was 20, I gave up dairy, and so in Spain, you eat a lot of dairy, mm. um, you eat a, there is a lot of meat, um, so I, I think there is a bit of a shift, but yes, it is, it is much more typical of the diet there than it is, for example, in this country. Montauk, he said that was as close as he could get to Spain, to my family, and to Rome, because we really like Rome as well. It was a blonde, and it's blue eyes, and Lucia is brown here. This is Lucia? Yeah. And she said, you, you hold Edu, and I'm going to be Lucia. Hello, hello Edu. Go, go, go. Alec, don't do that to him. Right. You scare him. <laughs> I'm going to kick your culo. He's going to kick my culo. Um, how do you say anything? Cucumber? Cucumber. And my wife says to me, oh, I want to have maybe one more Alec. We have one girl. And I say, I hope you and your next husband are very happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at my skin color. And look at your skin color. Who's dark? Yeah. Is one of us better than the other one? Mm -mm. No. Like, look at my skin color. And look at your skin color. Who's dark? Yeah. Is one of us better than the other one? Mm -mm. No. Now, Alec Baldwin knew all this. He's married to the woman. Her family is all from Boston. But he played along, lying to the American people, going on TV, making fun of a Spanish accent for his own personal gain. According to your standards, Shouldn't he be fired, tarred, feathered, and be called a racist Hitler Nazi all day like you call everyone else? Or take it to the next level. Believe all women. Treat women with respect. No one is more disrespectful than Alec Baldwin. Listen how he talks to his own daughter in a voicemail message and how he threatens her and how he tells her she's going to be punished. Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? And I want to leave a message for you right now because again it's 10 30 here in new york on a wednesday and once again i've made an ass of myself trying to get to a phone to call you at a specific time when the time comes for me to make the phone call i stop whatever i'm doing and i go and i make that phone call and you don't even have that goddamn phone turned on i want you to know something okay uh, i'm tired of playing this game with you you have insulted me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass who doesn't care about what you do as far as I'm concerned. You have humiliated me for the last time with this phone. I'm going to fly out there for the day just to straighten you out on this issue. I'm going to let you know just how disappointed in you I am and how angry I am with you that you've done this to me again. You've made me feel like shit and you've made me feel like a fool over and over and over great again. And this crap you pull on me with this goddamn phone situation, I am going to get on a plane and I'm going to come out there for the day and I'm going to straighten your ass out when I see you. Do you understand me? I'm going to really make sure you get it. Then I'm going to get on a plane, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to come home. So I'm going to let you know just how I feel about what a rude little pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig, okay? To be late. But of course, there was no support for Alec Baldwin's daughter because Alec Baldwin is willing to make fun of Donald Trump so he gets to stay on Mount Rushmore for the radical left and no one will call him a dirty name. He is a useful idiot. There you have it. I hope you like that. If you want to keep videos like this coming, there are three ways you can support. Come to one of my live stand-up comedy shows or make a one-time donation on GoFundMe, PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. Okay. 
The final way is become a Patreon or local member because the show I do, The Right Show Podcast, is a support group for normal people. And we need it now more than ever. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Guns don't kill people. Alec Baldwin kills people.